what's up everyone your favorite bearded artists we're going to be drawing some more stuff today more fundamentals just as we usually do with these videos i'm going to start off by saying a massive thank you for the overwhelming support recently on the channel uh, i see that you guys are using these videos to actually improve and that you're actually learning something from them which is awesome completely completely happy with that i mainly start posting these videos as a initiative for me to practice as well but i'm glad that you guys are also taking that and using it for yourself absolutely awesome um but yeah what are we doing today uh since you guys really like the faces and you guys need some practice with the faces as you mentioned in the poll recently uh, i figured we'll break it down a little bit and today we'll go for the eyes so just as one of the components i've already done a video on this but i think I think this one's going to be a lot better than the previous one, plus it's traditional drawing, which we all prefer over here. Um, so yeah, uh, that's, we're going to, we're going to do the eyes, do a couple of different eyes. And yeah, the references are in the description, as usual, remember to click on the link. It's, uh, it leads you to my Pinterest, which has all the references we've been using so far in the video. And you can just click on there and access them. Use it as a catalog for any of your drawings, whatever you want to do. And yeah, all right, let's go. Uh, what are we working with today? As usual, at the beginning of the video, we've got the Koei Nor Versatile that I've customized to my liking. Uh, really happy with the way this turned out. I put some 2B lead in it this time. So look how cool this uh, packaging is. Flip it out, it pops open like that. You pick out your lead and you're done. You close it up again. Fan of this design in general very human design very very easy to use nothing nothing annoying about it for comparison i've got the koei nor stuff which is still great but you know it's already more annoying you have to flip this out and take out the lead and get your fingers all dirty and stuff i think the design here was a little bit more thoughtful Anyways, uh, if you're wondering, I'm wearing two watches. Yes, uh, <laughs> you may have noticed this in the previous video. I only wear this one for the tracking stuff, like uh, steps and everything. As you can see, I'm not doing very good today. And um, in general, the smart, smart capabilities. And then this one's traditional because I like traditional watches. But yeah, enough of that. Let's get on to drawing some eyes, which... In this case, we're going to start off by drawing a, a circle, just as we start off with the faces. And to use this as a guideline, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do lines inside, similar to how we draw the faces, as an indicator to where I want to put my, is it the pupil or the iris, whatever it's called, like the inside of the eye. And then that is exactly what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to use this as a guide and then we've got the eyeball perfectly here now this time i've put my i put my laptop here so i can like actually oh jesus <laughs> so i can actually see my uh see the references of what i'm drawing because i usually have to look keep looking over there so i think to enhance this experience for everyone over here including myself now once we have the eyeball what I'm going to do is I'm going to build eyelashes around it to create the rest of the eye and to give it emotion because that's that's what the eyes are really important for. They give us a lot of information about how someone's feeling. So it's very important that we actually learn how to draw the eyes correctly and to a good standard. Now above this, I'm also going to use like the rest of the eyeball as a guideline to where to put my uh, eyelids so you can go above here to draw like a line out just so you can use it for guidance obviously this depends on like the age of your character you I've got an older eye here as well that we're going to try out which you're going to see this a lot more prominent in but for younger people you often don't want to put as many like wrinkles and too you don't want to put too much definition into the eye because otherwise they'll look very old but as you can see I've pretty much based this entire eye off of the eyeball that we drew earlier on 
Now this is a very shocked eye. So what I've also done here is added in like the edge of the eye that you usually have. And then over here is where we're going to place the eyelashes. I'm actually going to come back to that in a minute because I'll show you how to do that properly. And then going into here, I'm going to do slight lips almost like you don't have to be this detailed when you're drawing. This is more of a stylistic choice on whatever you are currently trying to create. I'm still going to get my... Where's my wrong one? Ah. My precision eraser, which I'm a big fan of as well. And I'm just going to get rid of this stuff. Just so we can clean up a little bit, as usual. Now I hope you guys are joining in and following along. Be sure to do the same steps I'm doing here. Uh, it will help you understand how to create these eyes a little bit easier when it comes to actually placing them onto a face. Um, using all these guidelines just makes it a lot easier and the more you use them eventually you'll get to a point where you just know where to put everything. So guidelines are almost like training wheels for us artists. Here we go. Just clean it up a little bit. I'm going to add this back because it's an important line. But I'm just going to make it a little bit cleaner. As I said, these are the eyelids. Now let's just go over this. And over here. Cool. Not the cleanest lines, I know. I'm actually going to put the pupil right in the middle over here and I'm going to make it black because that's what it is. There's it, If you look up like some of these close-up images of eyes, it looks like a tunnel that's just like going inwards. It's <laughs> really one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It looks like uh, something that's meant to be in space and not something that we see out of every day. But eyes are very interesting and like I said, they're very important when you're creating characters. Now to make life easier for ourselves, I'm also going to do like an internal ring of this eye here inside and I'm going to make that black as well or just darker in general, it depends on the color of the eye. But after that, we're going to use that to connect some of these lines together because that's what, this is what I'm talking about with the whole like flowing into the pupil stuff. like. I don't know what it is with the eye that makes this happen, but it is really, really cool. So we're almost filling this completely in. Some of these will be thicker, some of them will be thinner. But this is just how the eyes look. And we're just joining these in together, just so we have the general eye. I don't know why, but I don't have a great vision of this from where I'm sitting. Right, yeah, more or less like this. And then there's going to be a bit of a reflection here, so I'm going to erase that over here, make some space for it, and then just define it a little bit just so it's much clearer. But there is a reflection here. I'm also going to do a gentle, gentle shading over here. Just so we know that this is ten technically colored in. Could actually get a... What do I have here? Oh, no, that's going to be too dark. Cool Grey 5. Let me grab a pen real quick. And I'll actually add some color in. Ah, from the darkness, pastel blue emerges. These are just some cheap markers that I found. I don't even know how well this is going to come out. Eh, you know what, it might have been better if I just didn't, didn't add this. <laughs> but it's alright. And I'm also forgetting to add the paper behind it, which sucks because it's going to ruin our beautiful, beautiful faces that we did yesterday. That's alright, this is a practice sketchbook. If anything, I'll add a little bit more interest into here. Alright, 
you know what, that doesn't look the best without like pitch black in here, but that's all right. And now, eyelashes. See, the eyelashes, what we're going to do to create them is go in like a, almost like a U shape thing over here. And we're just going to go around the entire eye and do exactly that. So as you can see, they're almost like, they're flicks, but they're like these U shaped flicks. I don't know how to explain it fully, but you'll just have to sort of follow what I'm doing here. And I'm making them a little bit too long, but that's why we have erasers. And we're going to go around all the way to here. Look at that. That looks lovely. This pencil is also helping me out a little bit because it's a, it's a two millimeter lead. So it's created the ability, uh, I probably won't show on the camera, but Obviously, the more you use the lead, the sort of flatter the surface becomes, and then you almost get that line variation when you do it. So, it depends on what pencil you use. It could make your life a little bit easier in this situation. All right, and then we've got these, and now we'll do the same for the bottom, but not as many. Awesome. I'm going to try and fill this in a little bit, just so, just so it makes more sense to be darker here. That looks a little bit better. There we go. Look at that. That's our first, that's our shocked eye that we have here. That's the first one done. Let's try and go on to the next one. Oh, okay. We have an older eye here, which is a little bit at an angle. That one's going to be fun to do. I'm just going to quickly sharpen this. I do need to look at getting the sharpener for these eventually. Because two millimeter lead is one of my favorites to use, but um, sharpening situation gets annoying sometimes, especially when you get used to mechanical pencils. All right, let's do Let's do this older gentleman like this. And since this is a more of a 3D setting, what I'm going to do is almost pinpoint where I want this to be. And just as we would do on, on the um, portraits, I'm going to try and do the exact same, more or less. It doesn't have to be in the exact spot here. I'm going to create a point which will be our middle point and which we will turn into pupil, which seems to be fairly small in this situation. Now, I'm also going to straight away, more or less looking at the shape of what we have going on, fill in the iris. I think, I hope, I really hope I'm saying all these right names because it's, uh, it's it's not going to look great on the video. Right, I've done that a little bit too dark, as usual. Remember what I was saying in the previous video when uh, I was talking about my line weight and how unclean it is and how much I would love to clean it up eventually. Still making a conscious effort here. Right, now since this eye is facing almost this way and the face, rather than being straight here, is more like this, uh, this is going to be a little bit different and I'm going to use a triangle to create the shape that I need, which I've kind of screwed it up here, a little bit lower on the bottom and a little bit up like this and then it wraps around and the eyeball is coming around here. It's interesting because I don't tend to draw eyes like this. This is kind of the first time I've drawn an eye like this. Well, probably not the first time, but definitely the first time in such detail. But we're using the like the eyeball that we've created as a guidance here, as usual. 
this is very important. So I'm going to close it a little bit more because that's the emotion that this picture is giving me. Just clean it up a little bit. Made a bit of a mess. Just so we know what we're doing. Eyeballs inside. And we go around. Cool. And we've created the eye, which do take your time with this one. It's a little bit more difficult, especially with the fact that eyes in general are not the easiest thing to draw, especially when you're drawing both at the same time. Uh, when it gets symmetrical, it tends to get a bit sucky. Like when you try to make like a symmetrical face with uh, with the proportions correctly on the eyes, it gets a little bit difficult then. But none of this is easy. You gotta remember that. None of this is or will be easy. This is all stuff you need to practice and you need to just keep doing until you get real good. Nothing else is going to help you apart from yourself. Like you just have to put in the work. All right, this is what I was talking about earlier with the fact that we have more wrinkles going on here. Hide this pencil a little bit. There's, uh, see the more lines we add, the older this eye is going to look, which is perfect because that's exactly what we're trying to do and exactly the vibe we're trying to give off. And I'm going to do a little sort of outline here, which isn't really visible in the drawing, but because uh, there's obviously no lines here, but if you were painting, you'd have to sort of define this using using some paint. So this is exactly where the eyelashes go. In this case, this is a male eye, so they're much, much smaller and much less defined. So I'm going to do exactly that, make them smaller. And then they're a little bit bigger on the top, but all eyes have eyelashes, even male eyes, but you know, that's often a stylistic choice. In cartoons we choose not to add eyelashes because it just helps you define your character far easier and define what gender they are. Now I'm going to do the iris a little bit deeper in. And there's like the eyebrow is happening over here and there's like a bit of shadow here on the reference so you guys will see it if you click on the link below the Pinterest link but there are some things being defined here I'll add some wrinkles over here just to make it a little bit easier to understand that this is a older eye slightly older Lovely. Make some good progress here. I'm going to block out straight away where I want the light to go. So these, and then I'm going to do the same as we did last time. Filling this in and this side in. Just so we have that connection. And then start doing this. They're a little bit lighter than the outer ring, but if I was painting this, I'd be sure to sort of match these colors more. So I'll add a little bit more shading on them. And there's obviously some shading inside the eye. Don't make this mistake. I make this mistake very often. And do, do listen to this. This, like the white part of the eye, so like the eyeball, this gets shadow as well. <laughs> Don't make it glow. I've often uh, missed this part out when I was drawing and 
I've often just made it purely white and it just makes the eyes look like they're glowing and I it sucks because I made that mistake for a very very long time without changing anything and yeah it was it does not look good on a drawing like it really just makes your eyes look like they're glowing so make sure you, you pay attention to that and don't do that in your own art it's not a good look anyway I think that's that looks pretty good at the moment. Let's see if I can find a more sort of calmer. Oh, let's do that. A calmer color for the eye. Maybe it'll look a little bit better this way. If not, we'll stop with the markers. Oh, look at that. Do you know what? This is the thing with the cheaper markers. <laughs> they really do not look this dark when you look at, like, when you look at this and then when you actually put them onto paper. Yeah, I'm going to ruin this. That's alright, we'll try and fix it. Yeah, that's... that sucks. <laughs> Not happy with that at all. I guess I would actually try and create these lines with the marker if I was fully drawing with it. You know what, sometimes we experiment and it doesn't always go right. So don't worry, just try not to make this mistake on like a final piece because that's going to cost you a bit of time. Let's see if I go over this with my pencil, we will we'll return the look of it a little bit. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess it's there a little bit. Um, I'll tell you what, I've got a bit of a thing here. We use our materials that we have. I've got a white pencil. Let's see if that. Oh, yeah, that's going to help out a little bit here. Look at that, we're using different, different materials today. You guys are getting a bonus episode. <laughs> Look at that. That uh, already looks a lot better. And then I'll add a little bit of this nice gel pen, jelly roll, that doesn't always work, but <laughs> when it does, it looks great. It's working today, look at that. Just add a couple of these shines. Just a line here to differentiate these different things happening. And lovely. Yep. Alright, that turned out a little bit better. I'm not going to do the same for this eye because I want to do at least one more before we head off. And that's number two. So that's a bit of an older eye. As you can see, we've, we've put a lot more wrinkles and stuff around here just to make sure that we give that point across. And then we've got a sort of angrier looking eye for the next one. Let's uh, let's see what we can do with it. It's either angry or more seductive. It's it's either one of these. I'm gonna do the same as usual. See, I much prefer drawing on this side of the page. <laughs> Don't know why. Oh, do you know what? We'll make it a big iris. Why not? We're in control here. Big iris or pupil? Pupil, it's the pupil. The people. And then, since we've got the eyeball here, actually, I should have made it a little bit bigger. <laughs> but that's right. Oh no, wait, <laughs> I just got lost. <laughs> Screw this. This was meant to be the iris. All right, apologies for that. What we're doing is we're gonna put this across here. Should maybe even more. Yeah, no, look, see this <laughs> doesn't always go to plan. This eye, eye is screwing up a little bit. We'll do that. I 
And remember that all eyes come in different shapes. Like some people have much different shaped eyes than others. And you have to bear that in mind and you have to choose what you want to do for each one of your drawings and each one of your characters. They're a massive, massive indicator of a face. And they, there is that saying that you always remember a person by their eye, right? So you always remember a character by their eye, eyes too. Some of them have red eyes, which, you know, make them look sometimes cool, sometimes a little bit cringy, but depends on how you look at it. Other characters will have massive eyes, others will have very slim and evil looking eyes. But it's a big distinction of a character and a big importance of any face. So do remember to study eyes as much as you can because they're gonna be they're gonna show a lot off with your character. A little sip. And because I've actually kind of gotten rid of the eyeball here, which sucks. Shouldn't have done that. But I'm gonna still continue. See, I forget, I should be holding the pencil further away so I can make some cleaner lines. This eye is a little bit younger, so we're not gonna add too many of these lines in here. And there we go. And we have some really nice uh, eyelashes here. Very thick and almost put together, so they almost look like triangles. We can uh, absolutely do that in here. Still keeping to the same technique of like creating these U shapes, but we're gonna make them a little bit thicker in different spots. So as you can see, I'm filling them in in different locations to make them seem like they're sticking together, I think. That's what's happening. Look at that. That looks cool. I like it. You're doing a good job. I hope you guys are also out there getting these drawings together. I would love to see... Uh, actually, speaking of that, there was some talk uh, one of you guys mentioned that you would love to have like a Discord server, which I'm absolutely 100% for, and I will be making one of these. So thank you very much for your comment, and yeah, I'll be, I will definitely be looking into that so we can get some sessions where I can some, sometimes help you guys out with these, these paintings and these drawings. I'm very, very much for that. So, I'd love to build like a community of all of you guys, and that's a big, big step towards doing just that. There we go. We'll fill this in. I'm not going to use a marker on this one because I've <laughs> the only thing I've done with them is ruin them, uh, ruin the painting or drawing. Sorry, so far. And then smaller eyelashes at the bottom. Doing the same thing. Some of these are a little bit longer, some are shorter. But that's a very cool eye. I'm a fan of the way this one turned out. I'll do a little bit of shading on both sides. And then we'll do the same for the eye here. And then once I've added this in. I'm gonna come in with a rubber to add in some of the reflections. Do a different approach. And there's some eyebrows over here which I'll just add very quickly. Just some rough ones. And now I'll do some See, you can use these tools in many different ways and you get different results every time Every time you try and use a tool differently. It's amazing how much you can do with a simple pencil and a rubber. So 
some artists just use pencils and graphite. Someone like uh, Jonah Dry, very am amazing artist. I do recommend you check out his uh, YouTube channel. He does hyper-realistic paintings and he only uses graphite in them and they look beautiful. And <laughs> to all those times, my art teacher said, stop just using a pencil, paint. Look at that. People out here just drawing and they create some amazing art with it. So I don't need to be painting if I don't want to, right? Maybe I just want to specialize in a pencil, which I'm not saying don't try different materials, but I'm saying work with what you love. And yeah, obviously the more you know is great because you've got a massive tool belt to use after that, but just draw with what you love. For me, that's usually pencil, ink, things like that. But yeah, look at that. We've done three eyes today. All right, not too shabby. <clears throat> I think they actually turned out all right. Definitely quite a fan of this one. Not something I usually draw. Um, and even this one looks pretty cool. I think the emotion on it is pretty dope. Uh, do you know what? Actually, no, I was thinking maybe, maybe I could have gone over these with a pen, but <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin them even more. So yeah, that about does it for these eyes. Let's go back and talk about them. So I hope you guys have had a good time with drawing those and watching or whatever you were doing during these uh, videos. Also, sorry for the cable. I just kind of hang in there, but <laughs> yeah, um, this is what we got. I think it looks pretty dope. Came out pretty well, again. Definitely something to practice a lot though. Remember, this, is, uh, this isn't something that's easy. Uh, it's definitely one of the harder points of the face to master, but Let's face it, everything is. So in general, I just think it's great that you get a bunch of references and you just do pages and pages of eyes, pages and pages of noses, pages and pages of mouths, everything. It's best to practice constantly and to practice consistently. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That about wraps up this video. You know, again, thank you for the massive support and <laughs> see ya.